So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Camp. Look at that black girl, look at that black girl, look at that black girl. So today's video I'll be doing a tutorial, a short little tutorial on this hairstyle. I've been getting questions all over the place. I've been getting compliments all about this hairstyle. Sis, I have seen it done. Shout out to Ariel. I had seen her do it first, and then she had done other people's hair. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want that look for spring break, like, since I want that hang time. So, this is the hair that I use. It's the new Bobby Boss New Locks. The little stock card, y'all. The new locks. I really, this is what the hair looks like out of the pack. It's crochet, crochet locks. It comes to the little loop at the end. It's very small, a little loop at the end. And I actually like how this hair does after time because it starts to look more natural. But let me check out a hair, y'all. This is the, like, I don't even know if I can show, I don't even think I can show justice about how long this hair is. It's waist, waist length, sis. It's past my booty, sis. It's past the booty, sis. It's past... <laughs> It's past the booty, sis. <laughs> but yes, yeah, sis, this is booty length, period. So let me show you how I did it, y'all. So I used four packs of hair. I can't say how long it took me because I was playing around. And I want to say it could probably take you like four hours. Because you can get the, it, the, the longest part is parting your hair and trying to get the parts. Now, I did do mine thin. Like, it's not full. Like, I don't have a whole bunch of parts. I did free parts. I don't know if y'all can see. I did free parts. I don't know, y'all. Whatever. The parting is not the, the T that I'm trying to show y'all. I'm trying to show y'all the length. I'm trying to show y'all how I did this, okay? So, I got 18 inch, and I got, and I put two together. So, sis, ain't 18 plus 18, 36? Ain't it? 6 plus 8 plus 8 is 16. 36. Sis, 36 inches. Period. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out. Let me see. I'm going to change the camera angle a little bit so y'all can see. I'm going to take out. Hold up. I'm going to take out this one right here. And show y'all. I guess this could be a takeout video too. Show y'all how to take it out. Y'all, these little charms, I love these, but... They be resting. As you can see, I got silver and gold, sis. I braided some couple ways down. And then what I'm going to do is just start twisting it. Because some of my parts are kind of small. So I don't want it to be like me trying to pull my hair out to get it out later on. So I just twist the rest down. So it has a little loop at the top. You can barely see the little hole. But put the crochet needle in. Just as if you was crocheting your braids. Get the loop so it's hooked on. Close the hook. Pull the loop through like that. Now open it back up. And now you're going to take your hair and the crochet hair. And this part is a little tricky because, as you can see, this side is thick. So if you want to do smaller parts to make this part easier, it's okay. But pulling it through the loop is a little hard. But I got used to just basically like pulling that loop through. Make sure that this loop at the top, make sure you get all the little pieces that was in there. Because you want this as flat as possible. Because mine was sticking up at first. So that's why I had to do, redo this one anyway. So. Now this is, this is not, this is not a dread tutorial y'all. If y'all looking for a faux lock, a crochet faux lock tutorial. Because all I'm about to do is wrap, sis. I'm just about to wrap my hair in this thing. All I do is unravel a little bit. And then I wrap. And I got the end. So all I got is this little blue piece right here. And I got the faux lock. So since I had pushed it up a couple times, all I do is just pull this stroker down. So they spread out and you can see a couple pieces of my hair hanging out, but just nobody looking at all that. So this is the length of it, y'all. It's like boob length if you just keep it. And technically you could get 14 inch hair, y'all. You could get 14 inch hair 
and it won't you will only have 28 inches which is like wasteland so I have another piece of the crochet here right so what I'm gonna do is take my crochet needle and I'll take it like at least like an inch from the bottom put the crochet needle how can I go put the crochet needle through the hair and it don't gotta be like nothing crazy it's just like pushing it through the hair y'all watch this dang I can't even show y'all what I was my finger covering up so yeah I just put the crochet needle through the hair y'all it's just in there any type of way then I take the loop in of the other piece right close the hook pull it through y'all know how to crochet stop playing okay then you gonna then you gonna hook on to the end the short piece from the original hair original lock pull it through the loop like so just technically through the hair and you got you a knot sis you got you a knot but you got this little straggly end at the end and i could have i might cut this because i don't want to do all this so basically what i'm gonna do is so to get rid of the little tail thing because now we got 36 inches sis now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna split this piece in half so we gonna do some do some uh reckless i now mean, really want to get this like really i don't want to say nappy but real loose out of this regular coil state like for real for real not a couple little tugs but i mean i want this to look like a little fro on this side right so this is what you got you got this straggly looking thing and yeah so try to take an even piece the east side and what I'm gonna do is is I'm a go the direction of the coil and I'm gonna wrap up and I'm gonna wrap down so the way that I do it is I try to like hold both because you want to go one side first and y'all know what I'm talking about when y'all start but basically I'm trying to first I my first priority is to cover up that knot so cover up the knot right sis and I'm holding this piece so they don't get in the way because it'll literally just try to go around with it and that ain't gonna work. So I just hold it and then I wrap. Nothing too tight or nothing like that, girl. This is a simple little wrap. This might look crazy, but you literally just wrapping down. I don't even look crazy because I gotta hold this piece. So hold it down. Okay. And then boom, it just blend right in, sis. Blend right in like nothing. Like water, sis. Like water. So then I go that same way. But this time, I'm trying to move up the hair. Okay? I'm trying to move up the hair at this point. And you see like it's a tiny little bump. You can literally just move the hair right out the way, okay? So it ain't looking clumpy. You want it to look seamless. You want it to look seen. And as the hair gets older, like, it won't be much of a contrast. I don't even know if y'all can tell the contrast. But basically, no, you can't even tell for real. Well, you can a little bit. So, if you look real up close, you can see how this is, like, weathered. Because I, like, you know, did all that stuff to it. And then at the bottom, you can see it looks fresh and new. But most of mine look like that. But nobody pays attention that hard. So, then when I'm done, I just rub it together. And if you want to be more secure, I also burned... Um, just this little piece right here. And as you can see, sis, I got the seamless 36 inches, period. No nail glue. Technically, you don't even need to burn it, for real, for real. No nail glue, none of that other stuff, that extra stuff people be doing. I did do crochet, so I did not have to wrap for days. I did not have to braid with, um, I didn't really have to braid, like, talking about it with the fake hair and all that, all that. All that extra stuff, sis. This does not take a long time. I ain't even want to hold y'all for this long. But, you know. So, let me just show y'all my hair, y'all. It's kind of thin. Like, as you can see, like, pulling this apart is thin. But, I don't mind. Now, this is what I'm going to say. The only con I have about this hairstyle is that as it gets older, like, the pieces start to stick together. Okay. And, like, you see how, like, the pieces are, I don't even know if y'all can see that in the camera, but 
it's like it start unraveling a little bit and like they just stick together and I have to like pull it apart. But yeah, I would definitely do this style again. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna try this style, sis. Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, sis, I don't know what you're doing, but I know you want to see more of me. Um, please uh, put on your post notification. Press the bell beside the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. So then the button, the little bell will pop up. So you will get notified when I post because YouTube is not going to notify you when I post. And I only post once a week, so it's not going to be blowing up your phone. So just go ahead and put the notification bell on so you can watch my videos when it comes up. Follow me on all my social media. They link down in the description below. Because I will update you on there too. I will let you know I'm going to post a video. Period. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Do. Sis.